What's up, YouTube? It's AJ Watt back to you guys with another figure unboxing review. This time of the Marvel Legends Uncanny X Men 2 pack Cyclops and Dark Phoenix figure. Very excited to open up this two pack because I was able to find them for retail. Because I know some of you uh, scalpers out there doing 60 and stuff like that. But very excited to open up this two pack because I love the way the Cyclops looks with the shadowing effect. And I love the way. The Dark Phoenix uh, head sculpts and the body looks. And it doesn't have those high heel feet anymore. So ankle pivot's going to be easy, breezy. And as you guys can see, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. So that's the only place you can find them. Or you can buy a uh, Scalper's uh, version on eBay. So as you guys can see, we have the, X the Uncanny X-Men logo right over here at the bottom. Which I really do like. Not Nothing much at the bottom. Then on the left and right side, you have a cool picture of the Dark Phoenix. And within the box, you can see comic strips from that comic, which I really do like and dig. And when you come to the back side, you have the figures posed up. You see Dark Phoenix with her uh, Phoenix accessory. And then you have a cool uh, the comic right over there, which is pretty cool. really do dig that with a nice read-up. I'm not going to zoom in on that because uh, who reads nowadays, man? Where are you? Are you five years old? No, no, no. So, very excited to open up this two-pack. So let's go ahead and get into Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. All right, guys. So here we have the Dark Phoenix two-pack out of the packaging. Looking very cool. Love the way the Cyclops paint applications were applied to the figure. Love how they have, like, darker blue uh, shadowing effects on it. Really do dig that. And the Phoenix figure is also fantastic as well. It doesn't have those high heel boots anymore, which I really do like. Because on the original Jean Grey figure that came out with the Juggernaut Wave, it had those high heels and the figure couldn't stand properly. So that's what they made a big improvement on with this Jean Grey figure. Or the Dark Phoenix, if you want to call it that. Really do love the Phoenix figure way better than the Juggernaut Series 1. Comes with uh, two extra head sculpts for the Dark Phoenix, as well as an accessory. Scott Summers does not come with any of those, so let's go ahead and check out those accessories. Alright, so here we have the first head sculpt of Jean Grey. Looking pretty cool, like how they have kind of a little bit of grey and black and a little bit of grey. already said grey. But yeah, some nice, uh, nice effects for the hair. Really like the way it flows. Love the face sculpt on it. A lot of people are putting these... Putting this head sculpt on the uh, Juggernaut series Jean Grey figure. Looks pretty cool on there. I uh, don't have mine anymore because I sold it because I hated it so much. But really do like this head sculpt though. And then she comes with an amazing head sculpt right over here. And the hair on this one looks freaking great. Really like the way the kind of hair is going in the wind and everything. Really do love all of this right over here. Has the same uh, color effects as the uh, previous head sculpt I just showed you guys. This one has more of a smirking look with the teeth showing. So I really like this head sculpt. I really do. And then she comes with a phoenix right over here on fire. And then this would go just on her uh, wrist. And it's also translucent orange. You can see a little bit of red right over here on the very tips going throughout it. And the little phoenix head right over here looking pretty cute. And I love the way uh, the effects are kind of identical. But I very do dig that. A lot of people would have preferred like a kind of a like a backdrop for the phoenix. I would have suggested that too just like the Marvel Select. But really do like this accessory though. So before we get into Scott Summers, let's go ahead and check out the phoenix figure before anything. As you guys can see... This head sculpt looks amazing. Definitely going to have her posed up with this head sculpt. Other than, oops, this one over here. But really do love this head sculpt right over here. I love how the, uh, the eyes are kind of orange with uh, kind of yellow, yellow pupils. Really do like that. And pieces of the hair are translucent as well right over here on the right side. And a little bit over here on the very back. So this one has different effects color fix than the ones I showed you guys before and then throughout the shoot you get like this uh, kind of black shadow effect just like the uh, Cyclops figure I'm about to show you guys and I really do like that you can see it has a little Phoenix logo right over here on the belt the abs looking great 
It's kind of a, it's basically a repaint of the Jean, Jean Grey figure, except for the little high heels right over here. So mine has a very clean paint job, so that's kind of a first with Marvel Legends figures for me. Then you got the Jean Grey booty. It does have two pegs holes at the bottom of her feet, in case you guys wanted to know that. But really do love this figure. Now if they would have put the high heels on there, then ah oh, man, that would have been a different story. I hated that figure so freaking much. I don't know why, I just hated it because it didn't stand good at all. Alright, so for Jean Grey's articulation, uh, she can look down pretty good. Can't really look up with this hairdo, but kind of pivots left and right. Also rotates. Arms move forward and back as well as outwards. Has just a single bend, kind of a, at least 90 degrees at the elbow. Also rotates at the elbow. Uh, hands fully rotate as well, hinge down and up. She has an upper diaphragm joint that helps her pivot left and right. Crunch forward just a tiny bit, goes more back. Also rotates. Can do the splits about that much. Legs kick up forward very far. Uh, back just a tiny bit. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. That move about that much. Feet hinge down and up. And she does have ankle pivot. So now going into the Cyclops figure, and I really like the way this one looks, especially with all the kind of dark blues right over here at the bottom, kind of navy colors. They should have did that with the Jim Lee Cyclops other than this one over here. But other than that, I really do love the Cyclops figure. I think I like it more than the uh, previous one with the uh, Warlock wave. I just love how all the, uh, the effects are on the suit. So it is your uh, simple Bucky Cap uh, sculpt for the body. So I just love the shadowing effect on it. Visor's looking clean. Red's looking nice. Paint is also clean. Then when you come to the back, you do have a little peg hole right over there. And you do get a little bit of gappage right over here for the uh, for the ab crunch. You got your Scott Summers butt. You can see the little uh, the paint effects right over here. The dark paint effects looking pretty good. Comes with some different boots other than the Jim Lee Cyclops right over here. And they're also kind of textured as well. Also, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can kind of see a little bit of wrinkles going throughout it. Some wrinkles right over here and up here. And he does have two peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So really do love this figure. Love the paint applications. Same Bucky Cap mold. That's all good. Comes with uh, the laser laser hands and then just a pair of uh, or one fisted hand for the right hand alright so for Scott Summers articulation his head can look down that much as well as look up pretty good look left and right can't really pivot left and right arms fully rotate as well as go outwards about that much has an upper thigh swivel double jointed elbow that moves uh, pretty pretty okay Hands uh, rotate 360 as well as hinge down and up. Has a diaphragm joint that just goes forward one notch. And about just one notch back too. Can do the splits about that much. Legs kick up pretty good. Don't really kick back at all. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Has a boot rotation as well also right over here. Feet hinge down and up and he does have ankle pivots. Then here they are next to the Rogue figure. And then here they are next to the Jim Lee Cyclops figure. And as you guys can see, this one has a way better paint job. And then here they are next to the Marvel Legends Juggernaut series Wolverine figure. And as you guys can see, I think that's about an accurate uh, Wolverine height right there. Alright guys, so here I have the figures posed up for you guys, and I would recommend this figure to anyone collecting the uh, couple of X-Men Marvel Legends figures, especially if you want to build your X-Men Marvel Legends collection up. I think these two will be a great addition. The uh, right ankle on my uh, Cyclops is getting a little bit loose, that's the only bad part about it. 
but my Phoenix is just holding up just fine. It's just the uh, Scott Summers figure that's just holding up. But I really do recommend this, these figures to you guys. Well, once again, guys, thanks for watching my videos. If you guys like my videos, go ahead and thumbs up and also subscribe. Follow my Instagram account, AJ Watt Reviews, for toy pickups and toy news. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great week. Thank you.